Hello my guys, gals, and non-binary pals. This is Scarlet Witch Angel here, and I am here for my August Ipsy Glam Bag opening. Um, that being said, after this one, there's only going to be two more openings. Uh, the reason being is, once again, I'm not sure if anyone's known, but um, this was actually a, a subscription that was gifted to me as a very late birthday present. So, um... It's only right that at the end of the, at, uh, after October's bag, that I, uh, go ahead and just go cancel the subscription because it is in my name. I have, I hold the account, but it, it's their card. So it's either I cancel the account or I keep going on my own card and, um, in my, uh, personal financial situation, I can't necessarily afford to have 12 dollars uh, 12 now $13 each month going out of my account so um, that being said I do hope you enjoy this and the last two uh, openings as well as the last three reviews so let's get to this and uh, so this is the bag for the month. It kind of echoes uh, one of the styles that was given during the February bags. I think I actually have that particular February bag. Um, and for those who are kind of worried or what have you, it is very much pleather. It is not, um, it is not actual, like, lizard skin. Um, I have felt animal skin and I have felt pleather and this is very much a pleather feel so don't worry but anyway and then putting the bag down for a moment to put the card out and let's get started with the item that was outside of the bag first um, this is the Farrah medium angled shading 5e brush from the or 55e brush from their rose gold collection um i have for the most part pretty much fallen in love with all of the brushes that i've gotten from the uh ipsy bags there was only one that i didn't absolutely fall in love with i mean it's still usable but it's i i had issues with it um if you want to go see that one i think it's a couple of it, i think it's a few uh, openings and reviews back, so <laughs> bear with me. Um, but this this brush is very very soft. Um, yeah, I I definitely intend on using this. This is going to be very very nice. And the really interesting thing about this is, on the front it says exactly what it is, but on the other side it says "Be beautiful, be you." Um, I'm not sure if this is kind of if it's kind of like trying to you know, hype you up, like, uh, trying to basically, you know, tell basically kind of like a motivational thing, but if it, but if it is, I mean, that's actually a really good idea. Um, the fact that they say, be beautiful, be you, that's encouraging you to be your actual self. Um, and if that includes using makeup, do the makeup that you want to do sort of thing, but at the same time, um, even if it's not, I mean, that's just a nice little inspiring phrase, so I actually like that and I can't wait to start using this. Um, the next item up is the Milk Makeup Lip and, che Lip and Cheek in Work. Um, I have used a milk product before. It was a, um, kind of like a rosy holographic well, not holograph. Might have been holographic. Might have been iridescent. It's hard. It was from uh, that particular like iridescent holographic e collection, um, and it was a. It was like a. Uh, it was. It, it was a like a rosy highlighter sort of thing, and it was really good. I actually have used it with a cosplay before. Um, that being said, as far as like, um, as far as like cream cream blushes go um I'm not necessarily a fan of them and they haven't necessarily worked with me in the past but I'm willing to try to see if the milk product is different uh I'm assuming it would be kind of like the cream highlighter 
um, but we'll see and just to see what this looks like so that's about the color right there um, for me that would probably end up being because this look because this is looks like it's supposed to be like a uh, kind of like a lipstick a, a lipstick or a lip gloss um, or a lip color of some sort as well as the blush and I think this would be considered somewhat of an some of somewhat of a ML, an MLBB my lip but better but um, I'm not sure uh, we'll have to see how this works like I said I've used the milk product before I do like the milk product they're a little chunky for the amount of time that I used them but that being said I have enjoyed using them in the past and I'm willing and I'm interested to see on how this works for me as far as lip and blush so we'll see how that goes um, okay so the next one is the radical moisturizing rapid recovery lotion enriched with hyaluronic acid and ceramides by my uh, by my tan um, I'm actually kind of interested in seeing how this works it does say to use it after uh, you've like what after you've washed so like washed face washed hands things like that I'm interested in seeing how this works it says um, uh, tan body skin so I'm not sure okay okay it straight up says that it doesn't it's not a sunscreen it doesn't contain sunscreen so that's good to know um, so I'm actually I'm interested in seeing how this works um, so yeah let's so we'll see how that see how that goes um, the next item is the um, is the the balm cosmetics uh, lit lid quid sparkling liquid eyeshadow and rosé um so as far as the um uh, so I've gotten a lot of like um my particular skin tone ish um my particular skin tone ish um eyeshadows like a lot with uh with this brand that be with uh ipsy uh that being said yes i did ch particularly choose this one because it has been a while since i've used a liquid eyeshadow i have used a liquid eyeshadow before um and i want to see kind of how it has changed um see what's going on with see what's going on with this and let's see what kind of color we are looking at Ooh, okay that was a lot right there let's take some of that off and spread that out okay um so that is this is going to be what the shade is going to look like on me um, a couple of things that I am noticing almost immediately is the fact that there is big glitter in here, so it may, it may irritate my eyes. Not only that, but if, if the, uh, if the, um, uh, glitter is not biodegradable that's going to cause a lot of like bad pollution in the world so that's going to be interesting to find out how this is um yeah uh we'll see what happens for sure um i highly doubt that the glitter is biodegradable so 
Um, I'm just going to say that this may be the only time I'm actually interested in this, but we'll see what happens. I might have to do a little bit of research into uh, the balm, so we'll see what happens. Um, I mean, and don't get me wrong, it's a good color. It's just the large glitter has me on edge because of the fact of one, it might not be biodegradable, and uh, two, um, it could irritate someone's eye, especially if there is the chance of fallout. So um, just putting those two uh, things out there. And my last but not least is the Beauty For Real Eyeline 24-7 Waterproof Eyeliner in Olive. Um, now, I, now I myself, I can see that it's kind of like an olive -y green. Um, and if you were to like put it up next to something that's black, I'm sure, I'm not sure if you can see this, but um, it does actually have the uh, kind of like a greeny shade to it. Yeah, you can see it even better on the, with the uh, with actually opening it. Test it out a little bit. Yeah, you can see that it's green on my hand. It's actually very smooth. That's a very smooth line. I'm a little scared to use it, but I know I need to use it. And actually, um, this may actually get me potentially actually pulling out a cosplay that I've been trying to work on, that I've been trying to do for um, a couple months now. I've been very, very hesitant to bring it out. So this might help. This actually might be like part of the finishing touch that I need. So we'll see what happens. Um, but I'm definitely interested in seeing how that works. Anyway, so that has been my Ipsy glam bag uh, opening for the month of August. And um, Hopefully within the next uh, couple weeks, I will be able to give you a review of these items. And um, as I said, uh, this is one of the last ones that I am going to be doing. So um, once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Later. <laughs>